No crop has done more for Canadian farmers in the last half century than canola. This high efficiency crop was developed in the 1970s by two scientists at the University of Manitoba who were looking to create a grain that would produce a healthy edible oil. 50 years later, the Cinderella seed is now a $26 billion industry, making it Canada's most valuable crop. Canola is a cool season crop that grows well on the prairies, where the summer days are warm and the nights are brisk. After harvest in the fall, the grain is stored in nearby aerated bins where it dries until sale in the spring. Usually, these bins are located in secluded clearings or abandoned farmyards, making them difficult to monitor and safeguard. Anyone with a little canola know-how and access to a grain auger can make off with tens of thousands of dollars worth of product in as little as an hour. There has been a lot of canola thefts in the southern Manitoba region. In 2003, 2004, there were significant amounts of canola thefts in the tens of thousands of dollars. Constable Lou Ann Gibb joined the Killarney Manitoba Detachment as an RCMP member in 2004. One of her first assignments was to review an open case file involving one of the many canola thefts hitting the region at the time. I was put on this file to review it due to my background in farming. One of the complainants on that file was Mr. Armand Leverell, who was a victim of canola theft back at that time. In 2004, got an audit from crop insurance. He said, your canola bins were almost empty. So I, right away, I got on the phone and I phoned the RCMP saying that my canola had got stolen. I was very surprised. It's in a remote yard, and the farmers are within a four square mile radius. It's a non winter road. It was heavy with snow. Mr. Livro had unknowingly lost over 50 metric tons of canola, enough product to fill three large grain trucks. Someone who knew about the location of his bins went to great lengths to open his backcountry road and steal his grain. It was over $30,000 we had lost. I was so upset. It took me about four years to get back on our feet. It was hard on the whole family, actually. I wanted to help them. I wanted these canola thefts to stop. Nobody can afford to have a huge chunk taken off their bottom line. Upon reviewing the file, I was not able to bring any successful conclusion due to a lack of evidence. And the case was concluded unsolved. Despite Constable Gibbs' efforts, Mr. Lee Rose file would join the many unsolved stolen grain cases in the area. And any hope she had at finding justice for these local farmers was lost. Until six years later, when a new case would offer Gibb a second chance. 